Hi, I'm Jeffrey Paul Ross, and I'm sitting here with a GJ2 guitar made by Grover Jackson. In the early 80s, I had a rockabilly trio with John Jorgensen from the Helicasters and Elton John. We were called the Shaken Snakes. Uh, then I played with uh, Rank and File, uh, a country rockabilly singer named Rosie Flores. Then I went to Nashville and played with the Bellamy Brothers for three years. Uh, came, bu came back and I took John's place in the Desert Rose Band uh, with Chris Hellman from the Birds. Uh, played with a, a girl from Austin named Kelly Willis. And I played with the, <clears throat> one of the greatest blues singer and harmonica players ever, a guy named William Clark. I played with him for a couple of years. And then I played with the blues singer Candy Kane. Uh, but now I'm more or less local in the LA, San Diego area. I have. Uh, uh, a couple of different gypsy jazz bands. We play like Django Reinhardt. And I have a hillbilly country band called Hello Trouble. And we play back and forth between San Diego and LA. Yeah, just a minute or two ago I demoed this guitar and I played some stuff that you wouldn't normally associate with this type of guitar. Uh, normally you would see metal guys shredding on this type of instrument, but I tried to play some country, jazzy, bluesy stuff uh, using more of a clean sound uh, and the guitar did quite well. Uh, great humbucking sound. Uh, these pickups are more of a, a vintage style pickup as far as the output goes. A little bit lower output than, than some of the hotter humbuckings out there. Uh, one thing I would like to mention, I, w I was told that these knobs were uh, Grover's invention. He calls them the flying saucer knobs. Uh, these are great. It's very comfortable, very ergonomic. guitar has a great feel. Uh, it's Honduras mahogany, it's, it's light, it's, it's not real heavy. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a beautifully made instrument. 